Hi, my name is Rudy Val Savis, and today I'll be going over part two of our tips and tricks series where I'll go over some commonly or popular um, functionalities in Business Central. Um, so our agenda today is I'll be going over three more. So the first one will be filtering and the saved list feature, then attaching notes and files to various records in Business Central, and then the last one will be how to bookmark a page. So the first feature I wanted to go over is this uh, filtering and how to save a list or save a filter in Business Central. In virtually any uh, list page in Business Central, you can do this feature. So the example I'll be going over is um, in a ledger entry window. So first I'll go over what a ledger entry is. So if you had searched ledger entries, you'll get uh, a few uh, results here. So if I go show all, so basically ledger entries are all of your transactional data and depending on which module or what type of information you're trying to look for, um, you would go to that various modules ledger entries. So FA ledger entries, for example, would be all of your fixed asset transactions. Um, another popular one is your vendor and customer ledger entries. So all the invoices and payments that went through. Um, it'll show all that data, historical data there. So what I'll be using as my example for this feature is general ledger entries. So if we go there, populate. Um, so you'll see that there are um, various, various lines here. So this will show all of your journal entries that have gone through, which DL counts, and so on. So whenever you're in a general ledger entry window or a ledger entry window, there's various ways that you can uh, kind of play around with this data, how to filter and do some saved views, how to export to Excel. Um, so the so first feature I wanted to go over is how to filter your data. So you just click this little uh, filter symbol here, and then you can just start filtering uh, however many ways you want. So you just click this plus filter icon. So first, let's try to filter anything on posted on September 30th. So let's add that first filter there. So posting date would be 2020, 0930. Oh, just retake that. And then within Business Central, those, there's always ways to filter your data, um, kind of a shortcut way to, to do them. So um, there are, you can do a range. So let's go dot dot 2020, 1231. So then it'll show the range of entries that were posted between that date. And then there's other ways to filter. So you can do a greater than or equal to or not equal to. There's various uh, symbols there. So for this example, let's just leave it as that date filter there. And then you can keep going. So I'll just add another one for anything with GL account number is equal to 61600. So let's do that. Okay. So that's, uh, you can continue doing filters. So if you're satisfied with your filter, uh, you can do various things uh, again here. So you can export to Excel, which is go to page and open in Excel. And then there's also this feature edit in Excel, which I won't go over in detail here, but it is a it is one that you, you should explore. It's a pretty cool feature there where it will open in Excel and then you can do various edits to the data in Excel and then publish those changes to Business Central automatically. Okay, so once you open when you do open an Excel, it just generates an Excel file with this data here. Okay, and then if you wanted to, uh, if this is a regular uh, type of filter that you want to run every month and you don't want to type these filters in every time, you can always save it. So this save icon here, you can save it as a view. So let's just name this one test filter. Uh, September to December entries. Okay, and then just press enter. Okay, so now it's saved there. So if I went out of that window and I went back in, 
And after I just close this, the filters were the saved views. Um, that's what you would call in Business Central is all here. So if I, this is the one I just created. So if I just click that, it'll automatically go back to that filter. Okay, so this can be done, uh, as I said, in uh, any list page within Business Central. So this is an example for the ledger entries window. So you can do it in all the ledger entries windows, but um, other list pages would be uh, any of your master record list pages. So all your vendors, you can do, you can look them up. I only have six here, but if you had lots of uh, vendors, you can do some sort of filter. Again, uh, same idea, put this filter on, and then you can ex export to Excel or save the view. Okay, so really cool feature there where you can already start uh, analyzing data and filtering data how you want it and exporting it to Excel. Okay, so the next feature I wanted to go over is um, how to attach notes and documents to various transactions and master records. So an example here would be if I wanted to go into sales invoices. So this is just looking up a uh, sales invoice that was entered. So there's this fact box at the right hand side here that shows attachments and notes. So this is, um, this will, this is, you can do this feature in uh, not just sales invoices, but other transactional windows and even master record windows. You can attach documents and notes. So the first one is uh, attachments. So I'll just show you how to do that. You just click this zero icon and then select your file. I'll just add this sample file. So and as you can see, it's been added and you can continue adding uh, more files here. And then once you're done, you just click close and then it'll turn into one. So once this is posted, it'll always live with the document. So this is a good way to, if you're, if you're planning to go paperless in your organization, um, you don't have to print your documents anymore and file them away. Um, this is a good feature to do there. Another way you can use this is if you have a journal entry. Uh, so you can do this in general journals as well. Um, attach documents so that uh, for, for future audit purposes, there, there is a quick way to get some background on um, various transactions. The next one is notes. So that's pretty self-explanatory there. So if you click plus there, you can add a note and then press OK. And then it'll actually have a date stamp and the user that that added that note. So you can even continue adding more notes. Um, if you are a different user or if you're the same user, you can continue adding notes and it'll have that history there. Okay, so that's, that's a good feature there to kind of give a history on what's been happening with this transaction or this vendor. Um, you can continue adding notes there. All right. And then the last feature I want to go over in this tips and tricks series is how to make um, a virtually any window a bookmark or bookmark a window so that it'll stay, stay on your homepage. So what I want to do here is put a shortcut here for a certain window. So for example, if I'm in AP, I would usually go to uh, purchase invoices uh, screen uh, numerous times throughout the day. So I'm entering invoices here. So if I wanted to make this window here a favorite or, or a bookmark on the home page, I just click this bookmark icon here, this flag. And then once that's done, it will show up there on, on your home page there. So really good tool to kind of streamline and make your, your processes and your use of Business Central more efficient um, by adding shortcuts there. All right, so those are uh, the three items that I want to go over. Um, hopefully that'll help you uh, the next time you use Business Central. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you.